Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Austin from Calling Our Shot. We are back for some player props and spreads in the NBA for Monday, May 31st. Let's recap yesterday, an unlucky day, three and three, so we break even. But Anthony Davis, over 26 and a half points, never stood a chance, he got injured. And that hurts us again in LeBron, under 40 and a half PRAs, he hits 43. If AD was out there, he would not have hit that over. But what can you do there? Final loss, Luka Doncic over in PRAs, sure he was injured. Mavs got absolutely boat race, but it helps us because we had Clippers minus three and a half. We had the Knicks under 51 and a half points in the first half. We were on their way to watching the rest of the playoffs on the sofa in a, uh, maybe after game five in MSG. And Marcus Smart, my favorite player prop of the day, over 14 and a half points. He made us sweat it out, but we cashed it. We want to be better than three and three. It's the final day of the month, so we need to make some money. We got bills to pay. Logan, better than three and three. Yeah, he's four and two yesterday. Cash is his parlay of the day. He's 25 and 12 over the past seven days. He's been an absolute scorcher. So go show him some love after this video, and let's end the month with a bang. If you had a winning ticket, a crazy one in this month, send it to me in the Discord. It is linked down below in the winning tickets tab or the May betting recap tab. I'm doing my top 10 parlays of the month and I'm going to go through them today or tomorrow and pick out my top 10. So send them to me and subscribe if you're new. We're trying to hit 5,700 subscribers today. And man, we can't do it without you guys. Can't do it without these COS all-stars, all the people on the screen. We really appreciate all you guys. We can't do it without you. But I want to take a second to say, you know, it's, it's not about me. It's not about these picks. It's not about these all-stars. Not about the subscribers or even liking the video. But today is a much bigger day. Today is Memorial Day for the people in the United States, which is about 75 to 80% of our audience. And it's a much bigger day than just having the day off from work or work flipping burgers or spending time with friends. It's, it's, you got, I want to take a second to say a prayer for all the people that have pay the ultimate sacrifice to keep this country free. And they're the reason I can come out here in front of my camera and just act a fool in front of everyone and shout out numbers. They give me that luxury and for that I am eternally grateful and you should be too. So say a prayer for all those people that have fallen in battle. We really appreciate them. Happy Memorial Day, but we got a show to do. To do. We got two games on today and we're starting with, you got the Sixers looking to go for the sweep against the Wizards and the Jazz versus Grizzlies. Grizzlies looking to aim it and tie it up at two apiece. We're going to start with the later game. Jazz, Grizzlies. We're starting with Mike Conley, over 29 and a half PRAs minus 125. For starters, Mike Conley back to his old stomping grounds back in Memphis, and he had a great game in game in game three. But he's had many he had many great years as a starting point guard of this Grizzlies team with with Mark Gasol, Zach Randolph, Tony Allen, and Rudy Gay. All those guys. We miss those old days. But Mike Conley's turning it around, and he's played really well in this series. You look at game one, he had 22 points, six rebounds, 11 assists, 39 PRAs. You love that. Spied a return in game two. He still put up 24 and 15. Solid 39 PRAs again. And then game three decided 39 PRAs, not enough. He went out, dropped 27, 6, and 8, 41 PRAs. He's been great this series, and I think he will continue to be great. It's not the best slate in the world, but I do think Conley has a good chance at hitting the, the over here. It's been great value. He's hit it by over 10 in every single game. You could also look at his rebounds and assists line at 12 and a half. Great value at plus 100. But I'm just going to take the point, rebounds and assists line, 29 and a half. Let's get it done, Conley. Let's show him why you get paid that much money. Moving on to his teammate, Bojan Bogdanovic, under 18 and a half points, minus 125 on MGM. This line shouldn't be this high. And MGM has it, and I will take it. Like we talked about in game two, we took the under for PRAs for Bojan and he cashed it for us. And it was large in part due to the return of Donovan Mitchell. And when Mitchell is there, Don Bojan's shots just aren't there. Bojan went, tw he scored 29 points on 16 shots in game one. So crush this over. Game two, Spida, Mitchell returns, 18 points on 13 shots. Game three, 15 sh points on eight shots. His points are regressing. And, and they're going the wrong way. He's averaged 15.1 points per game in 55 games this season with Donovan Mitchell. So now you're asking him to score over 18 and a half, score over four more points than his average. I'll take, be willing to take my chances. Most of the books have it at 17 and a half, and I don't mind it. But I'm also here because of Pinnacle. And if you don't know what Pinnacle is, it is one of the biggest sports books on the on in the planet. They're normally only available in Europe, so a lot of us in the U.S who are celebrating Memorial Day, probably don't have access to it, but it doesn't mean you can't use their odds because they, they take in the most bets out of any other sports book. And thus, they normally have the most efficient and, and the sharpest lines out of anyone out there. They also have this 18 and a half point line. And instead of at minus 125, like BetMGM has it at, they have it at minus 157. So we're getting insane value on this under if you can take it at 18 and a half. This is oftentimes what I do to make some of these bets. I look at the odds comparison tool and you can use Odds Jam if you've never checked out Odds Jam. Not only are they partnering with Call on Our Shot, but I also have a link down below. They're a really cool best odds comparison site out there. You can just see what the odds are like on MGM or FanDuel or Barstool. They have so many books out there, so go check them out. But you can also see the pinnacle odds, even if you don't have access to that book. 
It's a free app, so consider clicking that link down below. I'm taking the under, Bojan Bogdanovic, under 18 and a half, not thinking twice about it, minus 125. Another one that I used on Jam for, and it, we're going to move on to the Sixers versus Wizards. Talking Seth Curry, under two and a half rebounds, plus 100 on MGM. Great value when you look at this one. Game one, he had four rebounds. Great work. Clap it up for the man. Game two, um, he had zero rebounds. He had the same amount as you and I sitting on the couch watching the game. It's game three, same thing happened. Same as me and you sitting on the sitting on the couch watching the game, clicking through channel, zero rebounds. So rebounds are a sketchy stat to bet, and they can be a little unpredictable and a little unlucky here and there. And everyone and their mother is betting on Joel Embiid under 10 and a half rebounds. So much so that I will not hop on the train with everyone like that because I just feel like he's going to come out and slap everyone with 15 rebounds. And you're just going to be sitting there like, are you kidding me? So... You know, you're looking at this plus 100 value. It's probability, implied probability of 50-50 chance. And on the season, including the playoffs, Seth Curry, he's hit this over in just 27 of 60 games. So 45% right on the dot. He has the capability. Sure, he's shown that. But if he got the same value, plus 100 every single night, he'd be up six units on the season. And I wouldn't complain about being up six units just betting on the same thing every single night. Can't complain about that. You're winning money. Let's talk back about Pinnacle. Pinnacle has this under. Instead of plus 100, they have it at minus 125. So you're getting good value. They're giving it a 56% chance of cashing as opposed to the 50% that MGM's giving it. I'll take it. It's a numbers game. It's a risk. But I like the risk, and I think it cashes at a great value, plus 100. And that's why I'm riding with it. Now we're moving on. Same game. Wizards Sixers. I'm taking the first half. I'm taking the over. 116.5 points. Minus 115 on MGM. It might be 117.5 points, and I don't mind it. You look at the games this series... I've been, you know, I, I, and we're just going to take a step back. I've been two and one on first half bets. So I like what I'm seeing. I'm making it three and one today. You look at game one of this series, they combined for 123 points, cash and easily. Game two, 128 points. Game three, that wasn't enough. 130 points in the first half. It's easily cashed in all games. And now you're like, all right, man, it's three games. Let's stretch it back to the post, to the regular season. They played first in December. I think their first game of the season, they combined for 117, just hitting the over. Game Game, then the second game in the regular season, they play on January 6th. They combined for a solid 149. Yes, 49 points in the first half. No, that's not a typo. Then in March, in March they played again, combined for 116 points. And that was with a 15-point quarter from the Wizards in the first quarter. I don't think that's going to happen again today. I'm not worried about it. It's likely the Wizards' last game of the season. And I don't think they're going to come out there and play a lot of defense. They haven't done it all year, so what's to say they're going to start playing defense now? They got to go out, get their salaries up. It's the off season. They got to get paid. They got to get their stats up. Don't think they're playing much defense. Taking the over with confidence in this one. Take the first half over 116 and a half points, 117 and a half if you want to. Then our last play of the day, we're taking a teaser. And I'm taking a teaser plus 100, five point teaser. Sixers minus three and a half. Grizzlies plus 11. Sixers minus three and a half. It's a no brainer. If they want to lose outright, go for it. I welcome it. I, I, you, I don't know what you can do much about that. Besides game one, when it was a seven point victory for the Sixers, other two games haven't been close. They won by 25 points and 29 point victories. They're just a matchup nightmare for the for the Washington Wizards. So sorry, I think you're going to finish off with a 4-0 sweep today. And I think they cover that three and a half points. The eight and a half is a bigger question mark. Maybe the Wizards keep it close, but I do think they end up winning by at least three and a half. As for the Grizzlies plus 11, this line's still fishy. You saw it in game three. It was five and five to five and a half point favorites for the Jazz. And a lot of people were on the Grizzlies train. They thought it was a trap. You know, the... They saw game one and two, the Grizzlies, or the Jazz were like, I don't know, eight, nine point favorites, and then it went all the way down to five. And I'm like, oh, this seems a little fishy. But they still ended up only losing by 10, so they covered the plus 11, plus 10 and a half if you get that. The Jazz shot 13 more free throws. The Grizzlies didn't shoot it too well from three-point land. I think this number gets closer today. And if you told me, hey, Austin, you either have to bet Jazz minus 11 or Grizzlies plus 11, there's no way. No way you're getting me to bet Jazz minus 11. No chance in heck. I think the young guns... I think they get it close today. They even might have a chance at winning this basketball game in Memphis. They're trying to even up the series at 2-2. And I think they get it back. It's plus 100 value like, like the Seth Curry line. You're winning back a full unit if you put a unit on it, which is what I will be doing today. I think Grizzlies got a good chance at not only winning this game, but also I think they keep it within double digits just because it's their. it could be their final home game of the season. They want to go out and put on a show. John Morant's been unreal so far. And Dylan Brooks, he's, although he gets he fouls like crazy. He's been pretty solid. Jaron Jackson Jr., Kyle Anderson, Jonas Valanciunas still stinks. But what can you do about that? Moving on, let's recap all the bets. Let's put them all up on the screen. Mike Conley, over 29 and a half PRAs. Love that bet. My, Bojan Bogdanovic. Mike Conley, arguably my favorite bet of the day. Bojan Bogdanovic, under 18 and a half points. Seth Curry, under two and a half rebounds. Wizard Sixers, over 116 and a half points in the first half only. 
Teaser, Sixers, minus three and a half. Grizzlies plus 11. Those are my five picks of the day. Let's go have a good, good, great, great day. I'm feeling at least the three and two, maybe four and one. Let's sweep this slate. I have faith in it. Go check out Logan's video. I'll link it right here. Happy Memorial Day to everyone out there. Really take a second to say a prayer. It really means, it would really mean a lot to me if you just took a second to say a prayer. It's not Veterans Day where you go out and thank a veteran for their service. That's later, I believe, in November. Today's Memorial Day. Thank the people that played the ultimate sacrifice. Say a prayer for all their families. Really appreciate you guys for all tuning in subscribe if you're new this has been austin i'll catch you guys again tomorrow let's make some money we got bills to pay tomorrow peace peace